mattered most to me about playing football was having fun. Of course, I played for a coach who didn't really always see it that way. And although we had some battles, I got to say this, he usually came up with the right strategy to make us a winner. Winning isn't real complicated, but there are certain basics you got to understand. Like remembering the coach's game plan, that's kind of important. Of course, playing on a team full of winners, that helps too. In fact, people don't give me enough credit for being drafted by the Dallas Cowboys, which I thought was a pretty smart move on my part. You see, I've always had an eye for winners. And that's why I'm so impressed with you Pontiac salespeople and the 1980 Firebird. And I know what you're thinking. When it comes to sporty performance and styling, everybody knows Firebird is a champion. But there's more than one way to win. If your prospects have Firebird pegged as strictly a hot car, one that burns a hole in your pocketbook, you've got a game plan this year that'll really surprise them. Let's listen to it. This year, we're going to concentrate on a new strategy. Federally Firebird standard 3.8 liter V6 with available automatic transmission has an EPA estimated 20 miles per gallon city. In California, automatic transmission is standard and Firebird has an EPA estimated 19 miles per gallon. Now that's impressive, but you can't measure the economy of Firebird or any other car on miles per gallon alone. To get the total picture, you have to balance a car's annual fuel savings against its initial cost. And Pontiac Firebird is a 1980 economy superstar. The Volkswagen Dasher with automatic transmission costs nearly $2,000 more than Firebird. Yet its estimated average annual fuel cost is only $61 less than Firebird's. Fuel savings for the Datsun 200SX won't make up the difference of its higher initial price for about four years. And with identical estimated annual fuel costs, the automatic transmission Toyotas have little appeal when compared with Pontiac's sportier, more powerful Firebird. And hey, that sounds pretty good, Coach. But these statistics, like all statistics, are only as important as what's behind them. And to fully appreciate how impressive Firebird's fuel economy really is, prospects need to know how EPA estimates are determined. So how about laying a little bit of that on us? To establish EPA estimates, each car must be equipped with all factory installed options that are ordered on at least 33% of its models. Equipment such as air conditioning, power steering, and power brakes are dealer installed on many farm makes and as such are not required for EPA testing. As a result, many high mileage imports when equipped with these items may provide less actual mileage than their EPA estimates indicate. Well, aren't you glad I asked? It's kind of like judging running backs. A good back will gain a thousand yards behind a strong offensive line, but it takes a great back to gain that many yards behind a weak one. So treat your prospects right. Make sure they understand what the EPA statistics mean before making a buying decision based on them. As always, sportiness is important in making Firebird a winner. But this year, Firebird won't win on sportiness alone. The key to Firebird's game plan in 1980 is total performance. Show your prospects that Firebird offers impressive fuel economy at affordable prices, as well as the great tradition of Pontiac's bold sporty styling. Together, they're a hard combination to beat. Firebird's toughest competition? Well, you have to start with one of the great rivalries, Firebird versus Camaro. Firebird and Camaro are similarly priced. The base Camaro's MSRP is $105 less than Firebird. With Firebird's strong, sporty car reputation more than making up for its slightly higher price. Federally, Camaro's standard V6 engine and available automatic transmission provides an EPA estimated 19 miles per gallon, one mile per gallon less than Firebird. In California, automatic transmission is standard with the V6 in Camaro and Firebird, and both deliver an EPA estimated 19 miles per gallon. 
Firebird really comes on strong inside. Its instrumentation is designed to provide operating convenience with that special Pontiac excitement and flair. And sleekly trimmed door panels, rich nylon blend carpeting and fully contoured bucket seats with center console give Firebird sporty comfort and feel. Camaro offers many of the same interior features, but its overall appearance lacks Firebird's striking detail. And Firebird delivers where it really counts, on the road. Radial tuned suspension with steel belted radial tires and power steering are standard to help ensure that Firebird is one cool performer under pressure. A cool performer. That's what I like most about Firebird. Put your prospects behind the wheel. Let them decide that Firebird is a sure winner in any tight driving situation. And the same is true for Firebird's bendier brother. Ah, the Firebird is free. A solid choice against more expensive competition. What's the line on this one, coach? Esprit offers similar advantages over Camaro Berlinetta as does Firebird over Camaro. And Esprit's base price is nearly $300 less than Berlinetta. Special touches, like detailed moldings along the roof line, not standard on Berlinetta, are indicative of Esprit's fine Pontiac styling. And with available white sidewall tires and wire wheel covers, the Firebird Esprit is still priced lower than Chevrolet's Berlinetta. In fact, Esprit holds a strong price advantage over nearly all the competition, with Ford Mustang Ghia its only lower priced competitor. The Volkswagen Scirocco lists for nearly $2,000 more. Mazda RX-7 and Datsun 200SX, two increasingly popular sporty car entries, are both priced about $1,000 higher. 1980 Esprit prospects may be looking at some of these cars, and Ford's Mustang Ghia and the Mazda RX-7 are representative of Esprit's strongest competition. Ghia's standard 2.3-liter four-cylinder with four-speed manual transmission provides slightly better fuel economy, but not as much power as Esprit's standard V6 engine. And when similarly equipped with a six-cylinder engine and automatic transmission, the Ghia loses its fuel economy advantage over Esprit. Mazda's 70 cubic inch rotary engine and standard four-speed manual transmission offers an EPA estimated miles per gallon of only 16, a strong advantage for Esprit. With its larger fuel tank, Esprit holds a decided edge in city driving range over both models. On a single tank, Esprit can travel 190 miles further than Ghia and almost twice as far as the Mazda. An important benefit for Esprit prospects, discouraged by the inconvenience of gasoline lines. Statistics like that make Esprit a winner in anybody's league. But word has it that Esprit's advantages in luxury and comfort are what really put it out in front. Tell me it's so. It's so because Esprit offers three inches more legroom than Mustang Ghia, and Ghia's European-style buckets provide less hip and shoulder room as well. The two-seater Mazda, which features reclining bucket seats, provides much less front leg and hip room, and almost six inches less shoulder room than Firebird Esprit. Remember, football isn't the only game where inches can be the difference between winning and losing. Esprit's comfortably contoured high back bucket seats and sharply detailed interior appointments, which include an instrument panel assist strap and luxury cushion steering wheel, provide rich appeal uncommon in a sporty car. The higher priced Mazda comes equipped with rear window defroster, clock and tachometer, and AM FM stereo radio. When equipped with these features, as well as with full rally gauges and special instrumentation, Firebird Esprit is still priced under Mazda. Power steering is not standard on Mazda or Ghia, but is standard on Esprit. And along with Pontiac's traditional sporty ride and handling, Firebird Esprit provides a feel for the road that makes it fun and exciting to drive. As one of the great ones, Firebird Esprit is a standout. The
lower priced 1980 Firebirds offer outstanding value and with a game plan of total performance, Pontiac's opportunities for victory over the competition are greater than ever. Well, it looks to me like you've got a pretty strong game plan. Take advantage of Firebird's impressive fuel economy and driving range, and stress the importance of balancing yearly fuel savings with original cost. Firebird's drivability will certainly impress your prospects. Put them behind the wheel so that they fully discover the outstanding benefits of Firebird's V6 economy. Firebird's roominess, comfort, and luxury are impressive as well, particularly for the prospect who's been shopping small economy cars. Once a prospect understands all of Firebird's practical features, initial price, fuel economy, drivability, and comfort, Firebird's bold styling and sporty image will be icing on the cake, certain to create that extra excitement which turns prospects into new Pontiac owners. And when it comes to winning, there ain't no substitute for the real fans.